Hey everyone, it's Steve here again. Uh, today we're reviewing another asset review. Uh, today it will be the Simply Gone Universe by Venn Creations. This asset retails at the time of writing this for $199.99 uh, USD, so $200 USD. It's worth noting that uh, this asset is updated regularly and they have increased the price. When I first bought it, I bought it at its introductory price, so it was 50% off, but the the standard price for it at that time was $179.99, so $180 bucks USD. It has since increased, but they've done a lot of updates to it. So <clears throat> before we get too far into this, we're just going to go over, uh, you know, the normal. The quality on this is high, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass it. Uh, again, I use simple pass-fail, um, so definitely passes on quality. Modularity and workability, uh, it, it does pass. Now, having said that, uh, I will go into my, my specific thoughts on this once we dive into the asset itself. Um, some of you, if you've seen my previous reviews, you're probably going to be like, well, wait a minute. And I'll address those concerns at that time. But I would argue that it, it easily passes modularity and workability, um, that, that, that category for me. Uh, support and serviceability, <clears throat> I haven't had any problems with it, so I haven't had to reach out directly to the developer. The developer seems to be active, uh, and they do provide a direct email uh, for for the um, uh, for contacting them for uh, with issues. So I'm going to give them a pass on that. And then value. Even though this is a $200 asset, uh, I'm going to get I'm I'm going to I'm going to give it a pass. Um, and we'll talk about that in just a second here as to why I'm going to pass it. Um, that is a lot of money, admittedly, <laughs> uh, but. I do believe that it deserves that um, for a handful of reasons. Uh, and one of those reasons is going to become apparent here in just a second uh, because we're going to do this review a little differently than we normally do. Uh, I am going to do a run through with my character controller through this immediate area and showcase a few things, but this is a huge asset <laughs> a truly truly huge asset um it is probably i mean it well you'll see once i hop on an editor mode but we're going to do a run through in the immediate area here with the first person character controller and then we are going to hop on an editor mode and explore the rest of this asset the um this asset does not have a manifest scene and I get why, and you'll probably understand why in a little bit too. So I have gone ahead and um, <clears throat> pre-opened some doors, uh, and we'll just hop into, we'll take a quick look into the doors, the buildings that I have opened the doors on. There's some, there's a lot of um, open air level clutter like this, and you can see all of the colliders and stuff just work right out of the box. Every building in here has interiors, uh, and that's going to be important to uh, note in a little bit. <clears throat> um, so also, we'll just tackle this real quick. Every vehicle, you can see, also has full interiors. Um, so again, you can see here, and you're just seeing some slowdown because there's a lot to it. Uh, you can see interiors with upstairs. So um, we jump out here. We're just going to boop, hop out there. You can see that there is outside or insides on all those. So these are like little duplex, side by side duplexes. All of the interiors are, uh, in my opinion, actually, we'll do this real quick. In my opinion, well, and you can slice, um, are well done, obviously, like I just showed, the, uh, <clears throat> the, um, uh, free-running power core stuff works just fine, there are, you know, plant, oh, jeez, plant stuff, pools, uh, 
So playgrounds, stuff like that. All sorts of wind turbines. All of these playgrounds have, you know, the ability to actually interact with and go up on. Realistically, let's see if this works. I haven't actually tried this yet, so uh, how do I? There's, yeah. So oh, it's a little bit too narrow, but that's fine. <clears throat> this one has like a skate park thing going on, and there's uh, so here you can see the vehicles. All the vehicles' interiors, for being a low-poly asset, they're, in my opinion, well-detailed. The doors are all openable on these, um, <clears throat> so we'll dive into some of those vehicles in a little bit. Uh, the clothing, or the, the, the stores, there are a whole litany of different stores. Um, there's, you can see over there, warehouses, stuff like that, gas stations, diners, uh, restaurants of all kinds. Um, <clears throat> there is a lot of clutter. You all know by this point, most likely, how much I absolutely love my clutter. <laughs> so there is that in spades. Um, where is my... Doo -doo -doo. So, a few different options for auto repair places. Just, ah, well, that isn't going to work. <laughs> I think this is the building, though. Uh, nope. One of these buildings, I pop. Oh, it's over here. Somewhere. No. One of the, one of these buildings, I popped the door open for, so we can look at some of the um, clutter assets. I just can't find it now. Uh. <laughs> Um, well, this is embarrassing. Uh, further over. Well, whatever. We will. Oh, this might be it. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. So, and then the electronic store next door I opened. So, like, a lot of different clutter options. I mean, just a ton of different clutter options. And, you know, for being a low-poly asset, the detail on it is is good. I mean, I would argue that this is, you saw the currency in there. I would argue that the, you know, uh, quality on this is Cintiq Studios quality, low-poly, maybe even a little better in some cases with some of this stuff. Um, so, uh, there's some... Larger industrial stuff over there, a lot of shops in here, the buses, again, full full, full vehicular interiors, every single building has interiors, um, but then we'll get over here. So, you're probably, probably, you're probably noticing that uh, a lot of these buildings look kind of like they might be static, well, that's because they are. You would be 100% correct in that assumption. They are. Um, and if you remember from my uh, uh, Cinti Studio Polygon asset, uh, the post-apocalyptic one, I was kind of harshly critical of that. <laughs> uh, some of these buildings do look very similar to some of those corner buildings and stuff and these individual ones. Now, <clears throat> I stand by the criticisms that I made of that one. I don't know if I can, if we can see in here. Uh, well, you can kind of see in there. Um, I don't, so I do stand by those criticisms. Uh, these are similarly <laughs> static meshes. Uh, the buildings are all one pieces. Um, I don't, I, I think there's some level of flexibility, kind of how in the, the Cintiq Studio post-apocalyptic one, so you got GPS there. Um, in that one, you had the ability to extend the height of a building, but every single level was going to look identical, 100% or more. It was just it it just was how it was. That was a like that particular asset let left a lot to be desired. 
um, because the levels were all going to be very, very similar looking. Um, the reason that I don't knock this one is because as I'm running through here, and we'll we'll go into it in a little more detail in um, when I hop into editor mode. But when I'm when I'm looking in these, bear in mind, I mean these are all different interiors. <laughs> so yes, these buildings are all relatively similar, like or relatively similar in design, and the fact that they are, you know, static. But where they differ again is the fact that they are. Um, that they are that, that there's that there's such a variety of options when it comes to the buildings like the exteriors of the buildings look amazing every one of these buildings has interiors so that those these elevator shafts that you see in all of them will will do this in editor mode but you'll see at that time every one of these floors is every one of these floors is a full like interior <laughs> so so large large variety of, of of buildings on the exterior and the interiors even on buildings that look similar like these corner ones or these smaller ones there are multiple interior options so there are multiple variants of each one of these buildings with different interiors so that's the reason that I'm not knocking this particular asset the same way that I knocked the Cintiq Studio asset Yes, the modularity of individual building pieces is not a thing, but the option, the modularity for sheer volume of buildings to be able to build a modular level, because if you consider this from a purely use case standpoint, that's what matters the most, right? Like, that is a completely, like, that's a whole different ballgame. Like, this this asset in my opinion is arguably the definitive solution for a low poly like a low poly um uh see even 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 basements <laughs> even basements included in these um so yeah the my opinion is that this is kind of the definitive solution for a low poly city package it's expensive but i think that the value that you get out of this is incredibly high there's there's so much so much uniqueness in how uh these buildings are, are just the again amount of buildings and the variants of interiors and you know stuff like that you know the school oh, uh, that too full interior right um so and i did open one of these tall buildings see if we can find it real quick but like i mean just look at look at this and again it's it's <laughs> there are interior variants for each one of these buildings or at, or at least most of the buildings i will i will be the first to admit i have not validated that every single building has interior variants but that's just because there's i mean an incredible amount of buildings here <laughs> i think it's something like eighteen thousand or something odd building prefabs in this it's it's absolutely astronomical and and it's it's all running fairly efficiently um <clears throat> you remember one of the first low poly asset reviews i did was the subway the uh, uh, L train, or I can't remember exactly what it was called, but this has this this asset as well <laughs> has a full rail modular, nonetheless rail uh, asset uh, set piece system, um, and we'll 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 dive into that when we hop on into editor mode as well. But this like this has everything that you need, and it's you know. In my opinion, for what you get, reasonably priced. Um, I have to jump in here now. Uh, these letters and stuff, uh, most of those are also modular, so you can write whatever you want on the buildings. Um, the one that I opened was a funky looking one. Uh, if I can't find it here in a second, we'll just hop on to editor mode, which is fine. 
Um, all right. Uh, it might have been that one. Hold on. <clears throat> that one but yeah I mean again full interiors like just look at that every single building has an interior it's just all right I actually don't know where it is because uh, again it's such a huge huge demo map here so what we're going to do at this time we're going to hop out <clears throat> and we're going to look at this from the editor view um so this map this demo map is split up into uh I think four distinct districts. <laughs> so this is the one that we just flew through uh, because I wasn't going to go through and open up every single building, like the doors. So the church is, you know, good. I do wish that there were like an upstairs, like, you know, cistern kind of like in, you know, fallout or something like that. Um, but, you know, <laughs> and all of these are individual set pieces, by the way. So the amount of, you know, not, not just clutter like this, like individual or, you know, food or, you know, stuff like that, but all of these pieces are, these are all, you know, individual set pieces. So these are all modular. So the framework of the building or the, you know, foundation of the building is all one piece. But then like, so you can see, you can drag this whole thing off or... Uh, okay, maybe the pizza one you can't do it on, but some of the letters are like maybe on the logos. It's not like this, but uh, okay, I'll I'll find some of the ones where um, they're individual. But uh, but yeah, um, so you can reconfigure this particular building <laughs> to be something other than a pizzeria if you want, right? Full modular bathrooms, toilets are individual, right? So, and actually, I think, do this. I believe, if memory serves, this is also, uh, it's not letting me drill down. I think that those are also modular. Uh, if there's time, we can try to find it in the, um, in the uh, prefab section. But, so trunks, so one of my complaints about the, about that other, Junkyard one was that this sort of stuff was not a thing. They addressed those sorts of modularity things in this particular asset. Um, even on the trucks here, these, I believe, if memory serves, are openable with interiors. Yep. So, uh, and all these are individual. <laughs> Come on, you. Uh, so, okay, well, these aren't, but there are individual versions of these. So you can batch these ones out if you want to save some um, uh, uh, system resource allocation. But there are individual versions of these as well. Individual cups, individual uh, cartons, and stuff like that. These are all individual. Um, so it allows you, like... So despite the fact, again, that the foundations of the buildings are not, um, are not modularized, I am very willing to forgive that given just the, um, given just the, uh, uh, um, given just the, uh, amount of modularity that exists within the within the individual um, within the individual uh, uh, things themselves here within the individual things that you can put inside of the buildings even these these things like the different uh, clutter pieces for you know, tops of buildings and like the ventilation systems those are also all individual pieces that you can just slap on to give Again, that, that sense of variety in your level design. <clears throat> um, so we've got a whole nuclear plant over here uh, with, again, interiors. <laughs> um, uh, t -t -t let's see. I apologize. My dog is kind of acting up over here. Um, 
so uh, I'll try to uh, so here too right so these are all going to be these are all going to be individual pieces that you can build on assembly lines and make it all seem unique these boxes are all and the, the pallets are all individual the shelving units are all individual but the foundation isn't so it allows you to really play with that um, let's go into let's go into uh, so here's those elevators I was talking about elevator shaft with elevator this is a separate piece that you can uh, that you can write a script for if you want it to if you want the elevator to go up and down you can program that the full elevator shaft with these doors that are openable on every level <laughs> and it just goes and goes and goes <laughs> um, let's go to one of the more unique ones over here yep. of course so on this end again we've got full interiors and it stacks all the way to the top so again here you can see the interiors it's just it's yeah so here's <clears throat> so here's an example of that that other um this is along with the like Cintiq studio solutions where you can just build these buildings out as high as you want but there are internal variants for these so if you want to if if you don't want to follow that particular pattern you can do a variant um same thing here right so <clears throat> and then let's go over here so we've got the rail systems these are also individuals so you can build out your whole rail system Build whatever rail system you want, above ground or underground. There's also a, a whole road system that has tunnels in it, uh, <clears throat> and that is, and that too is um, that too is going to allow you to build out. And we'll go through that in just a second. But so here's a good example of like a really kind of unique looking asset, right? I don't know that I would use this for a hotel personally. <laughs> um, so I don't really see it's just essentially one one uh, one building but take that off the top and oh there we go so there's a good example of their individual letters <clears throat> uh, and there's a few different variants of those as well um, all of these warehouses are also uh, interiors um, so so let's hop over here because there's more stuff so there's additional foliage and stuff like that there are actual like large um, warehouses like large warehouses small warehouses you've got boats which all guess what also have interiors that you can hop into um, <clears throat> and there's a couple of larger, like the only thing that doesn't have interiors, weirdly enough, some of these crates don't. So right there, uh, but some of them do. So I don't, I don't know. I haven't found those in the prefabs really, but even over here, you know, interiors. <laughs> so, um, up here on these large crane systems, interiors with doors that you can open <laughs> um so down here you've got the larger uh like oil liners and stuff these want to guess also have interiors uh there's various types there's like yachts and stuff like that that also have interior also have interiors um this one doesn't have a below deck interior some of them do though See if I can find one. <laughs> it's just the, the the astronomical volume of this makes it a little difficult to find some of this stuff. But let's hop back over here. So these guys are also uh, uh, some of these you can. There we go. So that's oh, oops. There we go. So you can split this one apart. You can put different signs up there. Uh, some of these are. What's wrong with my thing here some of these I thought were um, 
what some of those were. I think some of those are, but we'll we'll see if we can find which ones are later on. Um, so sailboats should have no some of. Uh, oh no, the same one. Well, we'll find one at some point here. Um, so we kind of covered this. Got a fancy little go kart track, which is static, but uh, you could dump this into a um, into a uh, uh, like a boolean ops tool and just slice it apart if you really wanted to. Um, <clears throat> got a number of go karts, stuff like that. You can change the colors out on those. Uh, you got Ferris wheels and stuff. I believe, yep, the doors also open on this, so you could create an actual functioning Ferris wheel. Um, a few different carnival booths and stuff like that, uh, which I believe on some of these, yeah, so some of them have doors, like right there. Um, small Ferris wheel, or not Ferris wheel, uh, yeah, Ferris wheel. Uh, I can't remember which ones are which. I haven't been at Carnival in years. Uh, again, more clutter, stuff like that. Uh, roller coaster, which is unfortunately a static, all one static piece, but but whatever. I mean, at the end of the world, I'm not going to dock it for that, honestly, because um, you're probably not going to build your own uh, roller coaster in your game unless you really need that and there are other assets for that although developer if you're listening it would be good to modularize modularize a couple of these things like that or the bill track if you really want to add additional value um so now that's just one sector here of this particular map remember how i said there's multiple sectors so we're going to go over here now so there's a whole set of farm stuff over here different uh, uh, clutter assets and stuff like that. There's an outhouse, which let's find the door here. There's the door. So we can drop this guy out and and all of the farmhouses also have also have interiors. I came off from there. Also have interiors. Um, and there's a variety of these as well. So there's a number of different houses that have different interior configurations and different heights and stuff like that. There are, come on you, the um, you know, greenhouses and stuff like that, uh, chicken coops, all these sorts of level clutter things. Gotta love your pumpkins. Tis the season, right? Or it's actually technically out, a little bit after the season when I'll be posting this, but... Oh, so again, interiors, um, so pretty decent, like, interior options and in all of these things are, again, you guessed it, removable, so you can build different types of barns and silos and stuff like that. So you saw the, cur the rounded greenhouses over there, you've got some angular greenhouses here. Um, you saw the small chicken coop back there, there's a, I don't know if this is supposed to be a chicken coop or just a storage or whatever, but you got a few different options, got some more silos that have interiors, uh, does this one have an interior? This one does not have an interior, that particular silo, I don't think this one does either, memory serves, yeah, that one also does not, but that's all right. So there's a few different wells. There's some more tugboaty type boats over here with, if we can get close enough, interiors. Uh, different foliage over here, obviously. And then, <laughs> so we have this whole system of tunnels. So you can build your own interior, interior, you know, highway tunnels. That's just kind of a little lazy on their part. We'll just go down here. So they have a whole long, whole long interior here. I'll just zoom. 
And then we have a whole other biome over here, desert, stuff like that. Um, this one comes with, ah, God. my God. This one comes with its own set of different types of buildings and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> uh, different other types of level clutter, different other types of, again, biome-based uh, fauna or flora, rather. Um, yeah, come on, you. <laughs> it's just the sheer like volume of stuff in here is making this derp up even in edit. actually I'm going to do this I'm going to turn this guy off make it a little bit better um so but yeah and then you got campers which also you want to venture to guess look at that have interiors and this is where uh actually you can't do it with that one but oh man so yeah i mean it's it's I think, yeah so it is incredible the amount of just stuff that exists in here again it's not um i'm gonna give it the same like it it it, it has the same issue that the synthes studios apocalyptic uh asset does and the fact that the buildings are all static but this is i actually think less than the post-apocalyptic one i think that's 250 bucks this is 200 bucks and you get exponentially more in here i mean it's just if 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 you were going to pick one definitive solution for low poly assets i i really argue that this is it um uh, it covers all your flora and, or yeah, all your flora bases. So you got you know palm trees and stuff like that out here. Um, a few different camper options, and I actually, if memory serves, I think that this isn't even all of them. Um, oh man, but uh, yeah, I mean it's it's. The sheer volume of this stuff is just oh, of this asset is just incredible. Hundred percent worth the price, in my opinion. Um, we've got a few more research things over here, a few more variants of these types of buildings. This one is interesting. So this one has, I think, this is the one that has some fun interior stuff, uh, or not. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so it's just, and then there's, oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> there's an airport too. Um, which, do this, look at that, <laughs> full airport interiors with movable cloth, um, or sorry, full airplane interiors, rather, uh, you got the hangars over there, you have the actual terminals here, so if we hop in here, let's hop down here, you've got your actual terminals that lead out to the, um, uh, uh, the name of this is escaping me right now, but, uh, and then about here, then you've got just the ability to really, really expand this again. Like this is one area where I kind of wish these were individual pieces. Um, so you could build like a huge international airport. Uh, so developer, if you're listening, that'd be nice to see in a future update. I do know, like, like I mentioned at the top of the hour, this developer does update this asset a lot, and it does seem like they increase the price periodically whenever they add, you know, value. Uh, if you buy it at the lower price, it seems like it is locked in. I have never had to pay more to get, uh, you know, anything additional out of it. So if you like this asset, I would buy it now <laughs> or as soon as possible because it, it may go up in price again. Um, ultimately, I still think the value is there, even if it does go up in price. Um, just the the sheer amount of stuff you get in here is is it's it's almost unfair to the developer in a way for being real. Um, so here too, you've got cargo planes that that you can have the doors, you know, um, the 
yeah, doors open and close on. Um, yeah, so so I would. Uh, I think I think that's all of it. Let me just double check. We went over there. Yeah, so that's all of it. A um, lot that you get. You get a lot out of this asset for the the amount of money that that you pay. I I think that again, if I had to choose one definitive low poly uh, environmental asset, this would be the one. Um, it's it's absolutely astronomical in size and scope, and like I said, the developer is continuously adding stuff to it. Uh, let me do this real quick. Um, so the value is 100% there. Um, so uh, if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, if you have this asset, let me know what you think about it in the comments. As always, if you don't have the asset and you are thinking about picking it up, please consider using that link in the description. I get a small portion of um, of uh, uh, of the sales, and that that really helps continuing to do these. Once I run out of the thousands of assets that I have, it's it it may again I I pay for everything out of my own pocket. I've said it many times before, but. Uh, Please consider using that link if you want to buy it. Um, I highly suggest this asset if you're into low poly work. It's 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 exceptional. <laughs> so um, yeah. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see everyone in the next one.